Hey everybody, Jude here. <clears throat> I've had a lot of people ask me questions about the treasure boxes that I've made. <clears throat> um, I made one for my grandson, which he received a couple years ago. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me, I have a thyroid condition that's making me do that. And now this is one for my granddaughter, and she'll receive it... Um, probably in another year's time. Uh, she's a little young for it yet, but it takes quite a while to make these, as you'll see in a minute. And I have a third one being made now. So um, as I've mentioned it online, people have asked um, about them, so I thought I would go ahead and show you. So this is a cedar box. Um, my grandson's was in more of a pirate-looking chest. Um, but this one is a cedar box, and it has little brass handles on the side, and it does lock. I have a um, little um, lock here that goes in it. So what I do is I lock them, and then their mommy and daddy get the, um, or, you know, whoever's getting it, gets the... Uh, key so that if they need to put this away for a while um, it can be done safely and yeah okay so then we open it up now normally um, when these are displayed I have things I have it set up in more of a displayed mode so I have a net uh, that I put on there and then this is a skeleton my grandson's had a skeleton and I wanted one um, to sit up here in my granddaughter's, but hers is a mermaid theme. So I found a mermaid themed skeleton to go in there. I thought that was kind of funny. And then normally I would have pearls and gems and whatever hung over the top like that when they first get them and it displays, you know, it all displays. But this one isn't... Um, set up for display today. So a lot of these pieces I've purchased from a lot of you online and you may notice some of these. I'm not going to mention uh, I bought this from so-and-so and I bought this from so-and-so because a lot of this I may forget who I bought it from but I've bought them from let's see uh, Cindy Loves Jewelry, Barbie Crafts, uh, Anita Fanita, um, Elizabeth Gonzalez, Makeup Zombie. Uh, let's see, who else? Um, Patsy Craftsy. Mm, yeah, so if I've forgotten you, I'm sorry, but I have purchased from a lot of you online. This, if you can see, is full of gems and uh, little seashells, starfish, um sand dollars, little pearls, little crystals. So that's just perfect for displaying up here on the top of the chest. <clears throat> so there's that. Here's a little um, sand dollar bracelet or starfish bracelet. Here's a little... Um, this is turquoise and I think this is bone um, starfish. It is set in sterling. Um, and you're going to see some things in these chests that, that are worth, you know, they're not just toys. They're worth something. And hopefully down the road um, they'll be able to appreciate that and either sell them or, you know, whatever they want to do with them enjoy them. Um, I, I like to find these to put in the treasure chests. Um, I just recently bought one from Barbie to put in the, the next treasure chest that I'm... But it's little mother of pearl discs and it makes a real mermaid-y looking kind of piece <clears throat> to go in there. Here's a little piece. This actually is a little book and it says the little mermaid on it. It's a little pendant. So I thought that was cute. I always put one of these uh, spy miniature spy glasses in there, um, and they do work. You can look through them, and it does magnify. So I always put one of those in there. Of course, we have shells. This one is on a pendant. 
here's a beautiful shell and it actually um, I can get my pen light to go on it here and show you it actually lights see that blue behind that gorgeous it's really beautiful <clears throat> I love these these uh, go on your feet um, so that goes around your ankle and then this comes down around one of your toes so you can make yourself little mermaid feet here's another beautiful shell that's a pendant I always put a compass in them so here's the compass for my granddaughter this is incredible this is a shell and it actually has been made into a like a locket or a holder and you can actually put something in there and I have seen these online these these go for a pretty penny but I just couldn't resist it for the treasure box some natural shells um, look at this this beautiful piece is all gold shells always have to have lots of little strings of pearls this is a beautiful cut glass um, necklace um, I just couldn't resist the colors so <laughs> I pulled this out of my own jewelry box but I just thought it looked really like treasure sitting in there and amongst the jewels. Here is a huge starfish. Uh, oops. Yeah. Starfish necklace. And as you can see, the large starfish has a lot of pearls on it. Here's a crab pendant this piece was actually made by bougie bear uh, April um, and it's a mermaid piece she's made whoops yeah it's got a crystal turtle hanging from it some more crystals it's got this um, abalone shell uh, mermaid tail hanging from it some little pieces of um, Laramar over here this little carved shell up here it's beautiful and um, like I said um, bougie bear made that one this is a brooch gold tone it's got some wear on it but that's okay for this purpose and it's got it's holding uh, it's like an oyster holding a pearl This is a beautiful um, beaded necklace with a carved abalone shell on the bottom. Great for a mermaid or a merman to wear. Here's a little fish. Here is a articulated fish. He's a lot of fun. Here is a coral reef brooch. And all the little creatures that are living in the coral reef actually are earrings that come out. Um, and then the, the coral reef itself is a brooch. Here is a really big fish brooch. Another crab, another string of small string of pearls. Can't have a treasure chest without pearls. Here's another fishy. <laughs> Here is a whole strand of glass fish. I just thought this looked like you know forbidden treasure. It's a um, 
it's a heart pendant and it opens it opens up and it's magnetized here's a large uh, natural sand dollar that's been glittered here's another gold shell Here's a great big angelfish. Here is the piratey aspect of this one. This is a big skull and crossbones, but it's very blinged, blinged out. Here is a beautiful crystal filled uh, starfish. This is a stretchy ring. I think I got this from Barbie. Um, fishy. Here is a starfish brooch, gold tone. This is another thing I put in there to just be like jewels. Um, <clears throat> it's all red. Um, If I can get it to hang right, you know how these are always like twisting on you when you go to display them? <laughs> Oy. There we go. Uh, red, um, red jewels. Another natural shell. This is a little locket with a starfish on it. This is a stone starfish, and I just bought last night a stone uh, unikite turtle from Jen, uh, Jennifer Layton, to go in here too. Here is a bracelet that's a fish on one, a fish head and a fish tail on the other side, and it's got all the scales, fish scales all along it. Here is a mermaid holding a stone. I think I got this from Moonstone Mama Devon. I could be wrong, but I think I did. Here is, I love this. This is a um, <coughs> sea themed stretchy. Um, and it's got glass fish. It's all glass beads. And glass starfish, glass fishy, and then these wonky beads. I love that. This is a Talbot's nautical bracelet. It's got a crab, um, a life preserver, a little tote bag, a ship's wheel, and an anchor on it. Sorry for the dogs. This is, um, buddy, shh. This is a little, it's a scarab with a little crystal coming out one end. And I thought that looked kind of magical. Buddy, I'm sorry. There's probably a delivery truck here. Um, I'm really sorry. Then there's another natural shell. Turn your volume down for a minute if you want to. And another shell. But this one's had a um a little hoop put on it for hanging. This is a fun piece. This is a necklace. And again, it's it's coral reef and it has little fish. And little crystals all through it. Another shell. Here's a beautiful shell on a necklace. Here's an anchor pin. Here is another brace. Another bracelet with all kinds of beautiful, um, isn't that nice? I think I wore this a couple times because it's such a beautiful bracelet. 
nautical bracelet, the toggle closure, really nice. Here is, we always have to have a couple of octopus. So there's an octopus. It's amazing that more of this doesn't get tangled actually. I'm pretty, pretty pleased with how few tangles there are. Here's another um, anchor, it says Victoria on it. Here is a mermaid neck, mermaid necklace. I always have to have coins in there. So here's some coins. Here's another starfish on gold. This is kind of a big tangle, which is why I'm taking it out the way I am to save time. Here's a stretchy seahorse ring. This is kind of funny. It's a skull with a little heart in the eye <laughs> on a chain. Here is another octopus. I'll have to straighten this out before I put it back in there. That tangle. Here is another big fishy. Here's a fun little, it's just a little flower ring, little plastic flower ring. Another fish. I don't, I forget what you call these, um, colorful discs. I think that's a 70s thing. Anyway, that's in there. Little tiny shell that's been dipped in gold. Another ring. <laughs> They're funny. When they get these treasure chests, my grandson, uh, they sat down. And his other Grammy, my son's mother-in-law, sat down with his mom and everything. And they went through just like this, piece by piece, playing with all the pieces. They had so much fun. Here's a little crab. Another starfish. Here's a crown for the princess mermaid. A couple of more of the gold um, natural shells that have been dipped in gold. Let's see, here's a little turtle. Here's Nelly, a Loch Ness monster. A little sea dragon. Here's a little bracelet with turtles and shells. And seahorses all on there. Here's a little tiny <clears throat> ring that's a little starfish that's so cute. Here is a little mermaid. Uh, it's an art piece put in beside a, a glass cabochon and um, it's a little mermaid art piece. So many things in here. Here's another little fishy. Here's a, this is a rock and it's got a whale carved into it. That's in there. Okay, boys. Buddy. And then here's a big fishy. Here's another anchor. Here's another crab. Buddy. So as you can see, oh, here's a cute little crab. Here's a whale. Bud. Here's a, here's a little fish and his little, his little tail flaps. Here's another little skeleton piece. <coughs> here's another stone fishy. Another anchor. Oh, here's another like mermaid's tail. So as you can see, I'm, I mean, I could just keep going. There's all kinds of, there's probably 50 more little things stuck to the bottom of this treasure. Here's a really old vintage um, bracelet with all the little shells and things on it. 
This is a mirror, and it says fairest of them all. I guess it's not a mirror. It's just it's made to look like a mirror. I guess it reflects a little bit. Fairest of them all. There's a ton of miniature little seashells in the bottom of here. Here's another turtle. Um, here's a little a little fairy with some rhinestone wings. There's just a lot of really fun. This says I'm really a mermaid on it. A little seahorse. So as you can see, I just collect, collect, collect until I until I fill the chest. Another nautical bracelet. Um, lots of little shells down in here. Lots of them. This is cute. This will be the last thing I'll show. Um, this is a little bracelet that's got, um, I don't know if they're made out of some kind of shell or abalone or something. They're little dolphins. Yeah. So that's what my treasure chests look like. Um, you can see by the pile here that there's a lot of stuff in them. Um, and I know people were curious because I buy things at your auctions and I say, oh, that's going in the treasure chest. And um, I've had a lot of questions about about them. Do I sell them? Do I make them? What, what, what am I doing? Um, I have, um, like I said, made one for my grandson. And now this one is for my granddaughter. Um, and I have a third one in process. Um, that is not for a grandchild. Um, and so, yeah, I would I sell one? Of course I would, but it wouldn't be cheap because as you can see, I mean, I've paid for all of this jewelry to go in here. So, yeah. So, All right, I thought you might enjoy. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and um, I will see you all again soon. Bye.